Thank you for contacting Copier One. Many customers have recently contacted us with scanned email issues. In doing our research, we have found that Gmail and other email providers have changed security settings in an effort to stop spamming. We now have a firmware update that we believe will take care of this issue. Uh, before implementing any firmware update, it is best to determine the present level of firmware. So if you follow the steps in this video, first we'll show you how to find your IP address and then using that IP address and your computer determine the firmware level of your machine. Um, so as I said, please follow the instructions, uh, let us know what your firmware level is and we'll get you all set. Thank you very much. In order to find the IP address of the 4540 series slash 4520 series machines is pretty much the same. Start by pressing user functions, admin, button that says password, 4540 series, you'll see the numbers across the top. Either regardless, you can use the keypad here. Password is 123456 unless you've changed it. Press network, IPv4, and you'll find your IP address located here. Once you have the IP address of your copier for the 4520 series machines, you can find the firmware level by opening up Internet Explorer. Uh, Chrome is not compatible, Firefox um, I believe is. Um, you'll open up the web page, type in the IP address of the copier. In this case, as you can see, it pre-filled in. Yours will be different. And hit the Enter button. When you get to this page, click on the Administration tab and it will most likely prompt you for your password. Unless you've changed it, it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, and click the Enter button. Now across this line, click on Version, and right here on the second line across from Copy or Firmware Version, this is the number that we're looking for. Thank you very much, and have a great day.